Hello friends, today I will show you a few x-rays. One of my junior colleagues, she asked to upload some uh, x-rays of uh, pulmonary tuberculosis. So I have collected a few x-rays. I uh, will not make it lengthy, I will uh, straightforward go to the x-rays. So let's start. Let's see the x-rays. Here I'll show you four uh, chest X-ray PA views. They are all a patient of pulmonary tuberculosis. To start with the first one, you see here the trachea is pulled to the right side. There are multiple nodular opacity in both the lung, uh, especially upper, middle, and also the lower zone also uh, involved. See cavities, there are multiple cavities. You can see the cavities. I'll show you the cavities. Here, one cavity. See, here, large cavities. This is a cavity. Here are cavities. So, both sides there are cavities. Here, are nodular opacities. That's all. Now we'll go to the next one. Second X-ray. Trachea is in the midline, but here it's not clearly seen. Left side there are no lesion, in right side there are cavities. Here, here cavities, and there are fibro fibrosis. See because the diaphragm contour is changed because of this fibrotic strand the diaphragm is pulled upwards so this is a patient of pulmonary tuberculosis next x-ray he is a young male he is an alcoholic and smoker see the x-ray here nodular opacities multiple nodular opacities and cavities here also, here few nodules, but not that significant. Left side is totally involved. So next X-ray, yes, scoliosis. Uh, then both the lung. You see, I'll show you one thing. In right side, the whole lung is involved not much that not that much normal lung tissue left all cavities small small cavities small cavities here also cavities so actually the patient is having bilateral bronchiectasis see here many cavities and here the whole lung there are fibro lesion this patient is sputum positive so a patient with bronchitis got infected and got pulmonary tuberculosis. So that's all for today. Thank you.